Hey guys, Game Alpha Good here, and you are watching Linda, aka the Gamer Girl. Hey guys, Linda, aka the Gamer Girl here, and there's some games from E3 and outside of E3 that I'm super excited for, and man, I can't wait to pick these up. First game is Blair Witch. This is from the people that made Layers of Fear. It was announced on Xbox Pass, you know, the press release and stuff like that. The layout looks like Outlast. You get a little bit of the creepy vibe. And it is during the 90s when Blair Witch was super popular. So I wonder if they're going to go with the movie or they're going to change up the storyline completely. And I want to see more because... This is really, really getting me scared, and I haven't even seen very much of it. So that tells you right there that I'm going to be creeped out the whole time. Can't wait to see more mechanics. What else is going to happen? Are we going to be able to use anything from the dog's perspective? Or is it just going to be straightforward like the other ones were, where you have a camera, you film, you do what you got to do, and you got to make it through all the way. Now we're going to transition into Watch Dogs Legion. This one I've been waiting for. I've heard that they were going to have a third one come out. And I am stoked about this. I loved Watch Dogs 2. I wasn't a fan of Watch Dogs 1. I wish they hadn't downgraded it so badly that you can't do as much as they had promised in the first time that they released it. So this one, everybody's back, but in a different twist. It seems like they're going to still have the same kind of vibe where there's a group of people, there's the main character, and then the rest of the characters are on the side helping you out. So my favorite though is the old lady. <laughs> She's an old assassin who's gonna come in and just destroy everybody. That made me laugh hysterically. Now it's set in London, so we're gonna see what they do with this. It's probably from the future because how they're making everything is more futuristic. And there's a lot of stuff where it seems like they really don't care about people now. I'm hoping for lots of action. Less about the drone. I really don't want to play much with that drone. And what I'm seeing, I'm not going to get the collector's edition, but I will pick up whatever they offer as far as like skin passes and stuff like that. Maybe the hoping like they did with the other one and the second one where they throw in an extra story if you buy it for pre-order. So if they throw in a story where it's an extra part and it's included with the skins, I'll definitely pick that up. Next game is Pray for the Gods. This one I didn't even know about until I saw a trailer drop and I was like, what? This is really, really reminding me of Last Guardian. The graphics are epic. You start off and you see a wolf dragging the character through to a temple. So you're either going to be revived or there's something that's going to happen. And it looks like you get to climb beasts like they had in Last Guardian. And you're going to go around and you feel so small, but you're going to feel big at the same time. From what I'm gathering, it looks like the world is so massive. So I'm hoping that it's not just a linear thing that you can go explore, do different things. And this one is one of those ones where it's a female lead. So I'm going to see what they do with that perspective. It looks like the protagonist is a female and I'm digging that. I'm not saying every game has to have a female lead, but it is a nice spin to have somebody different other than just a male protagonist who is running the show and how the game developers play off of that. Now we're moving on to the last game. This one is trippy, weird, but in a good way. It is Flipping Death. This one I found very, very intriguing to me. Basically, the main character passes away and goes into the other side. And from there, you have a job to do. This job, you have to figure out how to get people to do certain things to help the other ghosts go on. Now, it reminds me a little bit of Gianna Sisters where the world changes and flips and moves around and stuff like that. And you see you're controlling the human and then you're back to where you were in the other world. So the graphics are cool. The art style is really trippy. And the characters, their mouths are not connected, so it's making you go, what? So I want to see more gameplay. I want to go and dive in more into this world. So guys, those are the four games that I'm excited for. E3 is a trip in itself. I am stoked from what I'm seeing. I can't wait to see more and what is to come for next time. If you're new, please hit the sub button. Keep on gaming, everybody. 
what are you excited for? What games were out in E3 that you are hyped for? Let me know in the comments below. This is Linda aka The Gamer Girl, and I'm out. So, catch you in the next video.